Well, here we are guys in the sleepy town of Augusta, uh, roughly 45 kilometers south of where we were in Margaret River. Um, we've come here just for a couple of nights, pretty much to get into the caravan park so we can do some washing, really, haven't we? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but um, the weather gods have been very nice to us today. We've got an absolutely spectacular day. It's actually sunny. It's well, literally not a cloud in the sky. It's semi-warm, even like though- this. You yeah, can see his arms. They're muscles, mate. <laughs> Uh, but like, honestly, we were, uh, what am I trying to say? We were, <laughs> He's too caught up in his muscles. <laughs> we were speaking to someone the other day and they said, you're not swimming anywhere. Uh, it's, it's meant to be- Apparently it's just always cold down here. Just ridiculously cold. So we'll see how we go. It, it is, it is sunny. I, I feel like I need to get in the water. But no, we'll see. You'll be on your own. We'll see. Um, we'll show you around this little place. It's quite a beautiful little town. Righto guys, so we've come out to the Cape Lewin Lighthouse. Now this was built in the late 1800s and Cape Lewin that it's located on is actually where the, I'm going to get this wrong, Indian and Pacific? Southern. Southern and, and Pacific? Indian. The Southern and Indian Oceans meet. I think. <laughs> Two oceans meet here. Um, <laughs> now, I don't know if you can see them meeting, but we did speak to friends recently and they reckon they could see a line where the two oceans were hitting. Obviously that comes down to weather and currents, but yeah. it'd be pretty cool if we could see some of them. So normally you can actually do a tour where you go right up the top and you can get all the views the whole way around, but they're doing a once in a 120 year renovation on the place, unfortunately. The Indian Ocean meets the Southern Ocean. All right. Is that what I said or not? No, you said Pacific. <laughs> So I can confirm there is no line. <laughs> Cannot tell where the two oceans meet. Nah. Apart from this side. So this lighthouse also marks the most southwesterly part of the country, which also means we are the furthest we will ever be from Queensland, yeah? Yeah. Whilst on mainland. Yeah. So this is as far as we're gonna get from home. Which is crazy because we've been everywhere else and we're near the end of this current map. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't feel like we're the furthest away. So this here is the water wheel. Now this was built in 1895 and it was to supply water to the lighthouse, which we're only a couple of hundred meters away. But there is a natural spring up the back there. So water would come all the way down it and then rotate this wheel at the end, which obviously hasn't rotated for a long time. Uh, and that would activate the pump and pump water up to the lighthouse for when they were building it. Pretty ingenious for the time. We're gonna make the most of this spectacular day. Come down to, what's this bay called? I don't know. Something Bay. Flinders? Might be. I don't know. It is it, it's Flinders Bay. <laughs> but um, you should see the water here. Oh my God. And there's bloody awesome playground for the kids.
that's actually quite surprising. It's seriously cold water, like really cold water. <laughs> but once you're in, it's really nice. It um, yeah, pass, thanks. like takes the breath out of you. But yeah, I, I didn't want to get out after a while. It's because your good. body's numb. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Now, I'd never normally do this, but I'm gonna walk for a tan with no thongs on. I've had a blowout, and I normally keep a spare pair with me, but this is the first time I haven't. And we're probably in a town that doesn't really sell thongs. But anyway, try to find some thongs, and then we're moving on today. Uh, where are we going? Uh, Walpole, is that how you say it? Walpole, Walpole, something like that. And we're gonna go there and hopefully do the Valley of Giants and stuff like that. I think there's a fair bit to do there. But I think we've got about a three hour drive. Anyway, let's get some thongs first. So we're about an hour into our trip from Augusta to Wall, Warpole. <laughs> Warpole. <laughs> and uh, what another major change in scenery we've had. It's like thick as forest there. Yeah, apparently this is the southern forest. This area is known as. It's, uh, it's crazy how big the trees are here. And I'm assuming they're only going to get bigger once we get close to Valley of the Giants and all that. Hey, I don't know if you can see that, but there are so many moths hitting the front of the car. It's like it's raining and it's been doing this for the last five minutes or so. Just, I don't know, there must be something about the forest around here, but this car is going to be so filthy by the time we get there. <laughs> Have a look at this. There must be like a plague of bugs. Oh, well, I think that's today's plans out the window here. Mm. Uh, we were going to go do the treetop walk in the Valley of Giants, but at the moment, I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> so, this rain keeps up. No. Not sure what else there is to do in this area, but uh, we'll keep you posted, see what we end up doing. Well, we decided to get out. We can't just sit around the van all day. We'll just, we'll go insane being in there. So we've come for a drive, 15-ish uh, case. Which way are we? Out of town of Walpole. East? I don't know which way. East. Uh, to come to Valley of the Giants. Now, we've known about this one for a long time. Uh, I've been keen to do it. I don't know about you. Yeah, no, I have been. Uh, even though we both have a bit of a fear of heights, uh, <laughs> this treetop walk should be really good. The photos look amazing. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Hopefully it is open with the weather. Yeah, we might just get a little bit wet. We did try and go for um, a bit of a drive out to see what's called the Tingle Tree, which is like a big hollowed out tree, one of these giant trees. Um, and it was closed due to the weather, so. It's a bit of a forward drive track to get to it, or a, a dirt loop Proceed anyway. Yeah, hopefully this is not the same. I didn't think you could see quokkas anywhere, but can uh, kangaroo island. That's, that'd be kangaroos. Uh, what was the name? Rottnest Island. Rottnest Island. <laughs> Apparently they're all around here too. Up we go. What's wrong, Aaron? I can feel it bouncing. This is like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it actually bounces around heaps. It's funny, I think we were talking to someone the other day and they said it's sturdy as, but oh I know they're doing maintenance work. Maybe they've taken a few parts off. Check how much these trees are moving. Oh, what a beautiful day, hey? This is so high. This is insane. <laughs> Uh, 
well, that absolutely sucked. I don't know why we did that on a day like today. <laughs> It's like an added level of terrifyingness. <laughs> I don't know how much footage is going to be usable because it was just absolutely flogging down. But um, we're already wet, so we may as well go do the ancient empire walk now. <laughs> go, go. So that car there was literally what they used to do. There used to be a tree that size and you could fit a car in it. Mm, but but then because it died. yeah, because so many people did it, it ended up falling over. Oh, well, at least we got something to warm us up. Which one's this? <laughs> That's yours. Oh, thank you. So that was about 52 bucks for the family pass to do that. Um, do yourself a favor, if it's raining and miserable weather like this, don't come and do it. Yeah, wait. <laughs> <laughs> we are so wet and cold right now, it's just unbelievable. But yeah. amazing experience, glad we did it because it's been on the list for a long time. Yeah, but the actual platform and stuff, because it's made of metal, it's quite slippery being wet as well. It's so, extremely slippery. Yeah, I nearly slipped over a couple of times. So yeah, I would wait. I think you you probably enjoy it more. If you... With the weather report we've checked over the last couple of days, we don't have a good day to go see that. So no. heads while we're here doing it. And we're running out of time. We've, we've got a deadline to get home. So we have to keep moving. So we didn't really have a choice but to do it today. Mm. Anyway, warm up with a few coffees now. Back in the van, still miserable outside. So even on a cold day, we still have wraps, don't we? Yes, we just toast them. <laughs> Toasted wraps, pizza style. So we're doing pizza one with, I do tomato paste. Um, on ours, we have salami or ham, onion, tomato and olives. And then you just toast them so it all melts and it's delicious. It's one of the kids' favorites. How's the bloody mess in here though? Lego on the ground. Shit everywhere. These like, oh, these rainy days when we're all stuck in the van here, these are the days that I just really would like a little bit more space. <laughs> 18 foot van life, eh? Yeah. That yeah. is one thing when we do head back to Brizzy and we are looking at changing our setup which probably by the time you see this, we already probably know what we have or have changed. Yeah, we might. I don't know, nothing's locked in. <laughs> but um, yeah, pretty pretty keen to get a bigger van, but obviously bigger van, more weight, car can't handle it, don't know. So many things to juggle. <laughs> so we're gonna sort something out, but yeah, we, we would absolutely love a little bit more room. I mean, we always say we're comfortable in this van and we are, most of the time. It's just these days when we're all like packed in here together. Yeah. And I'm trying to make lunch when the laptop's there and... It's bloody raining it's sideways. That's why we're yeah. not out in the morning and it's pretty cold, so... Oh well. <laughs> Van life. Just it's hailing. That's probably going to be really hard to see, but it started hailing. Really hey, tiny hey, stuff. Hey. <laughs> really little hole. <laughs> yeah, I'm going back in one. Yeah. Why is that?
<laughs> wow, that's wild. I think this is our first time having hail on the road, hey? Yeah, I don't think we've actually had any. Wow, maybe we should have moved today. <laughs> The poor little ducks, they're out there trying to find somewhere to hide. Oh, I'd offered for them to come in, they didn't want to. No. <laughs> wow, that's just stopped out of nowhere. So today we decided we're just going to hang in the van, do all of our schoolwork, uh, catch up on YouTube videos, blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah, lucky because this would have been even worse than yesterday trying to get out and do stuff. <laughs> we're really just sitting this out. So tomorrow's meant to start coming good and we'll start moving on and seeing some stuff, hopefully. Hopefully. This is pretty miserable, isn't it? Yeah, it's always a good work day though. I don't mind sitting and doing editing and stuff while it's like this outside. <laughs> Not much else you can do. A chicken foot. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, ducks. You're alright. 